Good evening, everybody. This is Machine Gun. I just had the pleasure, the unfortunate pleasure, may I add, of having to navigate the Funko Pop fucking sites for the San Diego Comic-Con uh, Funko Pop release. So I got in. It opened up at 5 p.m. It opened up at 5 p.m. California time, so 8 p.m. here in Canada. And I got to tell you, it was a shit show. So I got in right when it opened at 8. I put this beautiful... Michelangelo, who I really wanted, as you can tell. I put a couple of my uh, figurines out. I have the whole set except for uh, Beep Bop because he's impossible to find. So I really needed this Michelangelo for my co for my collection. So I get on the site at 8 p.m. Right when it opens, I've had the site open for 10 minutes, just sitting there waiting. Put the Michelangelo in my cart. Takes 10 minutes to load in after the checkout and, you know, the bot check. Whatever, it's a busy site. Makes sense. I then proceed to wait 47 minutes altogether. Just for calculating the shipping cost. It. I waited a minimum of half an hour just waiting in the shipping cost line. Luckily, I was able to get my beautiful Michelangelo. Look at him with his beautiful pizza shorts. And his hang 10 hands. And his calabunga board. I think the problem was. Oh this one was not f like ridiculously sought after. Because of the placement of the San Diego Comic Con sticker. When I was watching Collecting Plastic. This is something he brought up. And something a couple other figurine collectors had brought up as well. That the sticker placement just kind of like ruined the whole motif. But I wanted him anyway. Have to have him for my site. So luckily I. After 47 minutes of waiting on this Funko site, I was able to get the one figurine I wanted from the Funko release for San Diego Comic-Con, just on the Funko site. Tonight at midnight, Toys R Us Canada is releasing the Stanley from Iron Man, when he looks like Hugh Hefner. Luckily, he's going on sale tonight. So that, I gotta stay up till midnight for that one. And another one I really, really want. I'm a huge Invader Zims fan. This cutie pie right over here. If I load it up. Get a better picture. Look at this cutie. Invader Zim with this little moose. Oh my god. I fucking love it. He ended up being on the Funko site, which confused me. Because he was supposed to be an Entertainment Earth release. So, Entertainment Earth is releasing their pop figurines for San Diego Comic-Con at 9 a.m. California time and uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, up here in most of our provinces. So, this baby right here will hopefully be in my collection tomorrow. And Stanley will hopefully join my collection tonight. I have the small version of Invader Zim with Gurr from the new movie. He's cute as shit. Uh, when I went to Fan Expo the other year, I actually got to meet the voice actor for Invader Zim. And it was awesome. I have an autograph. And if I ever get to meet him again, I'm going to go to autograph my pop figurine and just freak out a little bit. So for any of you unfortunate souls that had the unfortunate pleasure of trying to navigate Funko's website this afternoon for their Funko release, I'm sorry and I really hope you were able to actually get your pop figurines. I was reading some of the comments on the Facebook page. They were not pleasant. Um, a lot of people that got stuck waiting in the carts, their items sold out even though they were sitting there waiting for their Funkos. Um, about 20 minutes into the release, Funko had like a site crash. And they posted it up on their page while we were all still sitting there waiting in the queue. So Funko is not going to like the backlash that they're getting. It's trending on Twitter now, according to my friend, about how crappy their website release was today. And oh my god. But I'm just pleased I was able to get my beautiful Michelangelo. And when I eventually get him from my aunt's house, because Funko does not deliver to Canada... When I get him from my aunt's house, I will do a unboxing reveal for this beautiful bad boy. 
and add him in with some of my other Ninja Turtle ones. These are just the two I could get out of my shelf. Um, hopefully anybody that was on the Funko site actually got their pop figurines. Or if you're waiting for something from like Target or Entertainment Earth. Um, I know here we're waiting for Toys R Us to pull their release tonight. Hopefully your hunting goes well. You actually get what you wanted and you don't have to wait 47 minutes in line for it. Well... This has been Machine Gun complaining about Funko's new release, but glad I was able to get my San Diego Comic-Con Michelangelo. Hopefully, all you collectors actually get what you got damn wanted. And uh, if you liked uh, my content and want to see more about uh, Funko Pops, please feel free to like and subscribe. And check out uh, Collecting Plastics page. I watch him fairly religiously at this point. And I absolutely love his content, and he's really good at um, the unboxing videos and actually, like, showing us what he got and uh, actually, like, comparing companies. I know he gets a lot of free stuff because he's um, been out for a long time and has a handful, like, a, a lot of subscribers. So uh, go watch some of his stuff. It's pretty good. Well, this has been Machine Gun. Enjoy the rest of your evening.